Kane is in the building. <laughs> Nogales High School, and that would be because this is the Battle of the Tracks rivalry game. Rolling three and one at undefeated. I'll say that again. Undefeated Nogales, 4-0. They're ranked fourth in Division 13. It's been at least 20 years since Nogales has a start like this. They're hoping this can lead on to a league championship, possible CIF title down the line. A lot of excitement here. We'll go over to Tom Kiss right now. He'll talk about players in particular. Thanks, Fred. You know, when I was in high school back in 1982, the Nogales Nobles were led in basketball by Pete Williams. He ended up going to the University of Arizona and playing for the Denver Nuggets, as well as Cecil Fiedler, who was a professional baseball player. We all remember him and his son, Prince Fielder. Well, these Nogales Nobles are something that nobody's heard about, nobody's seen until now. They're 4-0, but the guys that you got to watch out for, especially for Nogales, is their quarterback. He's going to be number four, Matthew Ogin, 562 yards, 10 touchdowns. His favorite receivers are number six, Lorenzo Williams, Omar Galvan, and for the running game, watch out for James Gray and Andrew Carrasco. As far as rolling goes, a 3-1 record this season, the only loss to Arroyo an outmanned Arroyo team, which caught him by surprise, but they got to get ready for Lee. Roland is led by quarterback Michael Cundiff. He's going to be handing it off to number five, Nathan Alvarez or Quinton McGrady. And when he starts throwing it around, watch for Eric Burton and Chris Rodriguez. In this rivalry game, it's all about the student sections. So we're going to go down to Courtney Ponce, right in the middle of the Noble Dungeon. Thanks, Tom. The student sections are in full effect tonight. We've got the Nobles on one side and the Raiders on the other. The Noble Dungeon is decked out in all green. They've got face paint, posters, the whole thing. But the real question is, will Nogales continue to be undefeated and take home another win? Or will the Raiders put an end to it? We've got the highlights. First look at the Nogales Nobles who start off with the opening kickoff. This pass is going to go from Matthew Hogan, the quarterback, to Andrew Carrasco over the middle. He's going to fumble, but the Nobles end up with it. Continued to drive into rolling territory, but mistakes plagued the Raiders all night. This tackle out of bounds added 15 yards to the end of the run. Eventually, Carrasco would get into the end zone and give Nogales a 7 to nothing lead. Nogales would hold the Raiders on their first possession. On their second possession, Ogin is going to hit James Gray over the middle. He gets into the secondary, and he is gone. But a great play by one of the Rolling Raiders to track him down. They bring him down from behind right at the one yard line. They would eventually score, take a 14 to nothing lead then. Second quarter action, Algeen gonna call his own number. Gets in from seven yards out. He would make the lead 21 to nothing. He would score two, two times on the night. He would throw for over 182 yards and a touchdown pass. Rolling quarterback, Michael Cundiff, would have a hard time trying to find open receivers. Watch him scramble around on this play where he eventually is gonna be brought down for a short game, but he takes a tough lick on this. Gets hit low and high as he goes down. Nogales getting the ball back, trying to take a shot downfield, but it's gonna be intercepted by Quinton Grady. During the series, it was the Nogales D going to work and stopping the Raiders. Watch this sack by Isaiah Tunnell. Takes him down for a loss. Second half action. Here is Carrasco once again with a big run down to the five yard line where it would be Olguin once again calling his own number. Puts the lead up to 28 to nothing in the third quarter. Nogales with the insurmountable lead then in the fourth quarter just like we talked about at the onset of this game. Players to watch, one of them was Lorenzo Williams and he gets hit over the middle and he's gonna take it all the way to the house, eludes the final defender. Finishes the scoring for the Nobles, 35 to nothing is your
Our 50 50 prize is still on playing. You have won a new whole ticket. One seven nine nine zero two. Uh, give them credit. They took advantage of their opportunities and um, they basically uh, did better uh, at the first half uh, with their uh, their offense, and we just couldn't stop them. Um, and we had a hard time moving the ball, but give the credit to the, the coaching staff. Next week, the week starts. We start off with San Dimas. What can we expect? Well, San Dimas is one of the toughest uh, toughest matchups in the area, but um, you know we're gonna. We're going to brush ourselves off and uh, we're going to get ready for the I am here with head coach Richard Salazar. Coach, congratulations. Talk to me about what's going through your mind right now. It's a the rivalry. I'm just happy for these kids. They've been working really hard. Uh, uh, they've got a great staff. They've got great support from the parents. Yeah, Yusuf, our principal at this point. Best coach in the San Gabriel Valley. <laughs> But, uh, it's just all coming together. It's like the perfect storm. I mean, I, I'm really, really happy with every, how everything's coming out. I think it's just the perfect storm. What was part of your game plan coming into tonight? Because when your guys stepped on the field, they came out ground running. Uh, just doing your job. That's all we teach. Just do your job. We, we didn't try to make this game any bigger than we had to be. Um, I think they knew that because they're the cross-town rival. Uh, again, I just they just we taught every day. Just do their job. How important was defense tonight? Uh, it's our first showdown. You know, I, I love the fact that they were flying around and down and getting a goal. Hold on, stand at the end of the second half. The second half of the first half. Um, again, I'm just real happy with the way you can be playing, and it's just going to be awesome. Your third season here as the head coach. First couple of years, it's always a transition. Now here you are, undefeated so far, 5-0. What has been your formula to success this year? Um, hard work. We started in February. Uh, you know, all these kids, you know, believed in something that was, that was their job. You know, we, we, we gave them an idea, and now they believe it, and, you know, who you knows what can happen, we believe in something. Best of luck to this season. I am here with Matt Oh my gosh, the best feeling in the world, man. We put in so much work since February and we have the camaraderie that we have. It's it's unbelievable what numbers we have to put out, but tonight we show what we can really do. And the score for reflected it and bring back that trophy. Now we have to talk about your team remaining undefeated so far in the preseason. Five and oh, league starts. What can we expect from you guys next week? Game. If we do what we're supposed to do, like our uh, coaches always say, you know, the, the results will come. If, uh, success, you know, this will come our way. If, uh, if, uh, if, you know, it'll, it'll come our way. Came out since February, been in work, one of the off season coach had waiting, 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 and the mentality is all in the field. That's all that everyone is doing. How we're going to treat every game, just push it to our limits. And <laughs> now, what has been the mentality throughout this entire season so far, especially since you still are undefeated 5 0? Uh, our main quote all in, you know, that's coming from the school, in the classroom, just being out in the community and being here on the field, just giving it your all, you know, and being the best person you can be. And then that's how you're going to be good in life. And we're just basically bringing this. What they're bringing is basically things that we can take here and then address it in, in life, you know? And then that's how we just, that's how we're you know, just keep it, keep it going. Now, league starts next week. You're going to be playing against Azusa. What can we expect from Nogales? Not only in next week's game, but throughout the rest of the season. You can expect this to not slow down at all. I mean, a team is a team, no matter what the record is, what, what they do, you know, we're gonna keep doing our thing and just keep grinding and just keep getting these nuts. Congratulations to you. Thank you.
final score of tonight's game was 35-0. Nogales will keep that trophy here for one more year. They remain undefeated and are now 5-0 and will be playing Azusa next week. Meanwhile, Roland is now 3-2 and will face off against San Dimas next week. From Nogales High School, I'm Courtney Pons with the Southern California News.